Hello there. This is a video, another one for the women. It is 10 of my favorite beauty and skincare products. Now these are in no particular order and they're not my all-time favorites. A couple of them might be, but um, I'm just gonna go through the order of things that I love using. First up, we have the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. This is so worth it for the money. It's a huge tube, it lasts forever. Um, it is a cream mask, you just rub it in like cream, like you would at night time, leave it on, and that's all you have to do. You don't really have to think about it. Very good product, and it smells absolutely lovely. Next up, this is one of my all-time favorites. It is the Nukes Rev de Mille Lip Balm. This I have on my bedside table. I'm always buying it and giving it to people as a gift force people to use it. It is a thick, matte, slightly gritty lip balm. It's not slippery on your lips. I don't like lip balms that you put on and your lips are sliding around. This is matte and grippy. It stays on and it really does its job. So that's another brilliant product and it lasts for ages. Um, third up, we have the Philorga Scrub and Mask. This is a time-saving product. This was given to me by one of the um, para pharmacies in Positano, so thank you, Dr. Carlo. This is a scrub, it's a exfoliant scrub. You can put it on in the shower. Once you've scrubbed it in for a bit, you leave it on for three minutes, it turns into a foam, which is the mask, and, and it's an oxygen mask, so it infuses your skin with oxygen, and then you just rinse it off. So you can do that while you're in the shower, so no excuse for not having time to do a mask. Next up, we have the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. This is pretty much finished. I've hit pan in all of the colors except for one, which was an orangey bronzer that didn't suit me. This is such a brilliant time-saving product. There's a highlighter. I use that as a setting cream, um, or that one. Um, two blushes and a bronzer. So yes, it's expensive, but this lasted me for ages. I had this in my kit for a season, and then I took it out and kept it for myself. Alpha H Liquid Gold. This is a um, glycolic acid that you wipe on with a cotton pad after you've cleansed and taken off your makeup. This sort of gets rid of all the dead skin cells. This is basically instead of using an, a, a scrubby exfoliant, and use an acid exfoliant instead. This made, has made a world of difference on my skin. Also, from The Ordinary, I have the Matrixel. This is a serum. If you don't use serums, serums are pretty much one of the most important parts of the skincare routine. I put this on first. It's a very, very liquidy serum. Um, you put a couple of drops on, put some of that on, moisturizer on the top. Very cheap, definitely one to start off with if you want to start using serums. I have the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. This I use on all my clients, I use it on myself. It is one of the only concealers that I've found that doesn't settle into wrinkles around the eyes. Um, so that's a really good one. This is the Clinique High Length Mascara. It's the only Clinique mascara in a white container. And look at the brush on this. It is incredibly fine. It's like a mini hockey stick. This is brilliant for fine sparse lashes. You can get right in there and it'll coat every lash. Really easy to use really really good idea i don't know why more companies don't have brushes like this i'm gonna take the brush and reuse this when this one's finished this is another all-time favorite the christian dior lip addict i want to say no dior addict lipstick this is a cross between a lip balm and a lipstick or you can call it a tinted lip balm it's really comfortable doesn't dry out your lips um, it comes in a variety of colors I've got about three different colors I keep one in the car one in my makeup bag one at home I have them everywhere um, one of my all-time favorites last of all I have the Dr. Chart Beauty Balm. Now, I found this in Sephora. Nobody recommended it to me. Found it, was intrigued, and I love it, I've got to say. It's slightly, slightly too, unfortunately it only comes in two colors, light or dark, um, and the light one is a little, little bit too dark for me, but it's okay in the summer, so that's good. It's a three-in-one. It is a serum, it is a 45 SPF sunscreen, and it is a foundation. So that's another great time saving product. That skips two steps if you use that. Dr. Jart Beauty Balm. So that's it, those are my 10 faves at the moment. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this because I'm still really unsure about this type of video, but yeah, let me know what you think. Bye. And can I just say thank God that there is absolutely nobody in the bar at the moment because there's no way I could have done this with a whole load of people sitting there watching me.